Hi right, guys, this is Jeremiah with Stone Blue Airlines and today we're taking a look at the Cinemizer OLED version from Zeiss Optics. When setting up your FPV system, you've really got only two choices, uh, not just in goggles, but really two choices in how you're going to see your FPV footage. And you've either got a typical LCD screen or going with goggles. For me, the goggles are the most uh, submersive uh, option when you're flying FPV and they really make the experience uh, to me just that much more real and make you feel like you're inside. So today we're taking a look at the Cinemizer goggles which have become a really popular option for FPV. They're just a beautiful pair of goggles and uh, the screens are great and this is going to be my first chance at testing this system out and we'll see how this goes. So let me give you a quick overview on the system and show you what I plan to do with them and how I'm going to set mine up. Uh, so as you can see on the left and right hand side of the actual lenses on the inside, the small screens, you've got adjustment for uh, basically correcting your vision. So I wear contacts, that's a nice feature, be able to adjust uh, depending on what your vision is and kind of just tweak uh, everything based on your eyesight. Uh, the other nice feature that uh, comes with these is you're going to get a set of eye cups. Now my first thought on these, they're really easy, they just kind of snap on. So that was fast. My first thought on these after fitting these officially on and kind of testing them on my face is that they were really slightly too small, uh, I guess, for my face. Uh, maybe I just have a fat face, maybe my eyes are too big, uh, or maybe just the eye cups are just a hair too small. So for me personally, they didn't feel perfect on my face. I think they'll work, uh, but I plan to do something a little bit different. Uh, I plan to modify mine into the FPV Plastics Cinemizer uh, Goggle Mod system here and uh, we're going to go in that here in just a few minutes and I'll show you how that installs but let me finish going through the system. So you get the goggles, they come with a really nice quality cord, well, they should for the money. You've got a little breakout box here and not only on the breakout box do you get a uh, component input you also have got your charger. This is your selector to basically uh, go through the menu, the on-screen menu, and then the power button. So you've got your component cable here. Let me show you how that hooks up. All right, so pretty straightforward. That just plugs there into the side. Now something else you've got on the back, you've got an HDMI output. So I guess probably moving forward with even like the DJI light bridge, uh, you may be able to take uh, the HDMI footage and uh, dump them right here into the goggles, which is pretty cool. So you can go HDMI in. Uh, and then for just standard component video, standard FPV footage, you're just going to run that cable in. And uh, let's go ahead and let's see, power it up. You're going to get a green light here. Goes to blue, everything is connected up. And uh, all right, I'm getting some footage here on the inside of the goggles. As you can see, I have no signal coming in. Uh, the screen is on, everything is working. Very simple to get it up. The on-screen menu is very simple to go through. Again, it's gonna be hard for me to uh, run through that. But the nice thing is you can set format, you can set color, and the little jog dial is really easy to go through. So this is the typical setup. Of course, you've got the uh, extra light shield here. Uh, the box and then it does have some additional adapters for HDMI and there's been a few other guys that have gone through that. What I really care about with this is showing you guys uh, the system and how I'm going to mod this to go in a set of FPV goggles because that's what these are for. I don't really plan to be watching HD video, now I could. Um, these wouldn't be too bad on an airline flight watching something but these are not going to be so cool. So now the deal is, um, we're going to have to make some modification here on this set of goggles in order to get things uh, working right. So let me go ahead and move to that step and show you how I'm going to drop these into the uh, FPV Plastics goggle mods. Alright, I know this seems crazy, but yes, the first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and slowly pry off this side plastic panel. Just start from all the way to the back, move your way up until you expose the side. And then what you're going to want to do is slowly undo the cabling here so that we can undo the corner piece. Uh, we're going to have to do that for both sides or basically undo the other side and uh, clear the wiring from the standard uh, ear piece or the, uh, the rest for your ear 
and we're going to remove the entire arm so that we can get it set into the goggles because we're not going to need this part anymore. So let's go ahead and move this part out. All right, so I've got the cable out, everything is pulled and removed, and what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just disconnect this connector here so that I can work on the arm and take the arm apart, and then we'll start working on the other side. All right, I'm now on to the opposite side, and as you can see, there's no wiring on this side uh, at all other than just the standard audio connector for the earbuds. So once we've removed this side, I've also for pulled the front panel, which you don't have to do, I don't think typically, but mine was kind of loose already. So I went ahead and just removed it. And then we're gonna go ahead and uh, see if we can't get these arms off. There's a screw on the bottom, so we're gonna go ahead and remove that next. All right, let me show you where we are so far in the deconstruction here of the Cinemizer goggles. So the front plate, if you slowly work this side around, you'll be able to pull the front plate portion of the goggles off, which will expose all the inside guts of the uh, Cinemizers. And what that'll let you do is there's a little pin that's going to be uh, holding, it's the hinge pin, and I also loosened up the uh, tension portion here, the spring release or the spring tensioner here on the corner, so that I could just push the pin out. So what we're going to do is go ahead and pop the pin out, which will separate the arm, and then we'll go ahead and uh, I'll show you that piece and then we'll start assembling the goggles back together. All right, so if you see here on the bottom, I pushed the pin out just a little bit. I'm going to use some needle nose pliers to go ahead and uh, pull the pin the rest of the way and we'll separate the arm. All right, so I have separated one of the hinge and arms here off my Cinemizer goggles. The pin I just went ahead and put back in and then I'll put this on the back and keep it in the box. So let's move on to uh, our second side and remove the other arm. All right, we're on to side number two. And again, I would recommend just working one side and then what I ended up using is uh, just a little piece of control rod that was really thin to kind of push it through and just get it up high enough so that I can get my needle nose pliers on it. So once the needle nose are on, you can easily pull that pin out slowly, separate it, and then put it back into the uh, arm that you just removed. All right, also what looks like kind of threads, that little hinge pin area, is actually a small spring. If you have a really, really small screwdriver, you can loosen that up, which also makes the pin slide out a little bit easier, and then when you put it back, you can tighten it back up. So I've got both sides removed. We're gonna go ahead and put those in a bag, keep those for safekeeping in case I ever wanna replace them, and uh, move on to our partial assembly now. All right, so here's where we are in the disassembly. We're ready to start assembling pieces back together. Uh, we've got just the Cinemizer mainframe completely disassembled wires and everything hanging out. We've got our plug here, which I'm um, not sure yet what I want to do with this. I'm probably going to want to shrink wrap that, uh, but I want to go ahead and get everything kind of reassembled and put stuff inside that I'm not going to use. So let's go ahead and start putting things back together and uh, I'm going to show you my next step. All right, so here's what I decided to do. I went ahead and put some shrink wrap on the open uh, wires there and then also once the connector was on I went ahead and shrink wrapped that segment here and then what I'm going to do is go ahead and mount everything and slide it inside shut the case on itself and that should hold everything in place and also give me a strain relief uh, as well here on the cable so let me go ahead and get that installed and I'll show you what that looks like all right so here we are all finished up I've got my strain relief everything's wrapped into the front of the glasses and as you can see, everything's really nice and clean. I think we're ready to go ahead and uh, mount it into the goggles. So let's look at that step. Again, these goggles are from FPV Plastics. I picked these up brand new. As you can see, they're still wrapped. And uh, if you can get a little look here inside, I'm pull this back. Nice open area, lots of room to mount, uh, to mount these goggles inside. Nice padding. Very nice construction, so let's go ahead and pull this off. Very shiny and fancy looking, and I'm sure if uh, if you got some nice spray paint for plastic, you could easily spray paint these some other color, but I think for right now, the black looks pretty cool. Uh, you know it actually looked pretty awesome. Uh, I used to watch Star Trek, and it'd be pretty cool to do like the Geordi LaForge, uh, I don't know what those goggles things he wore. That'd be pretty sweet to do that and make a little mod here. Uh, like some holographic sticker or something. All right, enough of that talk. Let's uh, let's go ahead and get these mounted inside. 
All right, last thing before dropping the goggles in, just power them up, make sure they are working the way they should, test them, and uh, go ahead and let's slide the goggles in place. So guys, next step is gonna be dropping these into the goggles. It's a pretty straightforward process. You're just gonna press fit them in, kind of flex the goggles a little bit and drop them in place. So let me go ahead and do that and I'll show you them inside. All right, last but not least, I went ahead and mounted the cinemizers into the goggles, as you can see. Nice, clean fit. I did decide to go ahead and leave the front white plastic piece on. And then I also left, if you can see down in there, put the nose piece back in. And if you keep both of those pieces on, it's actually a pretty darn tight fit and you really don't need to uh, pretty much do anything else to get them to sit right. At least for me, that worked really well. You guys may want to pat it out. Uh, do something on uh, on your own. Normally I love Velcro and mounting stuff with Velcro, but because it is such a tight fit, there's no room around either side, I went ahead and left it as is. And then I think the last thing I'm gonna do, if you can see here on the side, so I've got this set. Uh, what I plan to do is just notch a little piece here in the foam to let it set in, and then I'm gonna strain relief this to the inside edge, maybe a little dab of glue to go ahead and keep this from moving around so that my connector doesn't move at all. And I think that's about all I'm gonna do to finish these goggles up. And I think next uh, next thing we're ready to do some testing out in the field. Guys, thanks for watching the uh, open box review slash install here for the Cinemizer goggles. Um, I'm really excited to test these out. The clarity on these really is quite impressive and we're going to go ahead and stack it up against some of the goggles I've already been running and a couple of the other guys here in the crew that are running some different stuff as well. So stay tuned for part two. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.